Well, let's get some analysis now with Mustafa Barghouti, who's the Secretary General of the Palestinian National Initiative. He joins us now from Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Really good to have you back with us, sir. Firstly, can I get your reaction to the latest Israeli raids on Gaza? Well, this is a really terrible tragedy. Uh, no less than 20 people were hit by Israeli rockets this morning. Uh, 13 of them are already, 13 have already been killed. They, they died, and there are 19 others who could die at any moment. Uh, this was an act of collective crime uh, where uh, people were hit uh, to killing them themselves and, 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 and their families, their, 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 their wives, their children. There is no justification for this act from the side of Israel when there was a truce declared uh, by mediators and Israel accepted it. In my opinion, Netanyahu and his fascist government are facing very deep crisis. His government was about to fall apart, and he is trying to uh, get out of his political internal crisis by creating an attack on Palestinians. On the other hand, this is an act of uh, not only of, of fascist behavior, but it is an effort uh, to, to, to stop Palestinian resistance to Israeli occupation, uh, to the process of Israeli illegal settlement in the occupied territories, and it will fail, because this will enhance resistance rather than stop it. In all words, this is a very dangerous moment. Israel could be dragging the whole region into a terrible war again. And as usual, the Israeli governments are using Palestinian blood to solve their internal problems. Well, yes, it does appear to be a heavy-handed attack because the vast majority of those killed were civilians. Israel has admitted it was targeting the Islamic Jihad group, but three members were killed while the rest were either family members or innocent bystanders. In terms of the reaction from Gaza, surely that would only embolden the resistance against the Israeli occupation. The Palestinian resistance in Gaza will respond, uh, for sure, uh, but uh, they are uh, being uh, careful. They are uh, planning. They will not uh, just do a gut reaction. Uh, but on the other hand, as you mentioned, most of the people killed were civilians. I wonder if these children and women who were killed in these terrible airstrikes were Israeli Jewish people, what would have been the United States and European reaction? Up till now, we didn't hear a single condemnation from the side of the United States or, or Europe uh, against this crime which was committed against these uh, innocent Palestinian women and children. They can't call them terrorists, and Israel uh, should not be allowed to continue to behave above international law and uh, in violation of every international law and every human right in Palestine. Uh, that's why I think, of course, Palestinians understand that in this case, they are facing a power that is supported, unfortunately, by the West uh, in an um, improper way. And Palestinians realize that uh, they can only defend themselves through their own resistance. And that's exactly what will happen. I, I'm sure there will be a response. Uh, my worry is that this could drag, uh, this situation could drag us into a long war, a dangerous war with thousands of people killed, not only in Gaza, but also in the West Bank. Okay, Mustafa Barakuti, we'll have to leave it there, but uh, great to get your analysis as always. Thank you again Thank for you. joining us. Thank you.